this face you got there. Don't mind if I look at it for the rest that's in mine. Below it, just remember, I do bite, baby. But we should be careful not to like up. <laughs> you already know it's fucking too late for that. You should just get used to it already. Wherever we go, we end up together. It's our blessing and our curse, isn't it? You can say that too, can't you, kid? My little baby butt. And what you did last night, acting up, I can still see those stupid looks on their faces. You know how to be the life of the party, I'll tell you that. Every single time. Trust me, fucking wild. <laughs> you know, even you say things, Kego, that make sense sometimes. And you, baby, you. You don't know when to quit, do you? You can't decide if it's the hottest thing in the world that we fight over you and each other, yeah? Want us to kiss and make up? <sighs> <laughs> I already had that in mind. What do you say, a triple kiss or something like that? Makes fucking sense to me. And besides all that, think about it. You and I, we have unfinished business. Oh, is that so? Yeah, it is. And why are we whispering our business into these cute little ears of this little mouse? And I don't know. I guess the world will never know, considering this one right here. This one's a fucking hoot to death. Ain't she? Hey, get my real close now. Don't focus on anything else. If you did, I'd say you're fucking crazy or hella determined, but I won't let you focus on anything else. Mm. Oh, this <laughs> escape is just a facade, ain't it? I agree with that. Because uh, we don't stop. We can't, and we never will. Just like you can't get enough of all this attention. You know that? <laughs> what if we prepare our fucking truth? We both kiss. Like that and make up. You kiss that hair, and I'll kiss this one. Now you're just toying with this cute little mouse sandwich between us and you, you're shamelessly enjoying it. I can feel your heartbeat, your breath so evidently. You're not even trying to hide how much you enjoy this, are you? I'm glad though. That's what matters to me. Most of all, that you actually fucking enjoy it, you know? <laughs> oh, it just never gets old, you know? These little things that make up something a little bigger. Well, and something that's a whole lot fucking bigger, you know? Way to be a fucking perv about it. Who said I was talking about anything perverted? You know me, I'm a saint. I wouldn't dream of sinning or talking about anything like that. You think I'm a fucking degen? I know you are. You don't even need to try and hide that because you wear it on your sleeve, you fucking bastard. <laughs> that the best you got? You should fucking know I've been called a lot worse than that. I mean, just ask this baby bird. 
I've been through it, haven't I? <laughs> Not like we haven't been through it too. Before all of this came together, before we mushed together like a plate of food on Thanksgiving, it all came together in that ugly, crazy way. But the one gorgeous thing I couldn't let go of. This degenerate chat. <laughs> Wonderful feeling of smushing together three hearts in one. Yeah, something like that. No, enough about all this reminiscing. Makes us seem like we're older than we are. Still in the heat of youth, you know. I'd fucking say so. Or we'd never have the energy to. Last night speaks for itself, doesn't it? Is that a reaction I hear? Come on, baby bird. Show me that reaction again. This time, look in my eyes. Ooh. You're always so fucking sly with things. How far can that really get you? How far when I'm right up against your ear? When there's nothing stopping me, huh? Again, focus, or you might lose it. There we go again, huh? I'll make you look at me. Yeah, my little mouth, my baby. The one that changed my life and saved me when I was so long. And even if we're all sharing a caring kind of people, it doesn't change the fact that I can be a selfish bastard and I want to stop. I'll appreciate you and steal you away any chance I get. And if you ask me why, it's because it's you are talking about things. It's you and I'm not ready to share yet. <laughs> well, at least one fucking feeling's mutual, right? No, I guess a lot of them, if you really fucking think about it. Looking up at the stars from here just doesn't cut it. Cause I'd rather look at you right here, right now, baby bird. I wanna show you all the things that make me smile. All the fucking things that I never thought I could share with anyone. You know, when you wanted to be my sidekick, it changed me. It changed me in ways I never thought I could. It made me feel, even when I thought the feelings were already long gone. You revived me. Like some kind of bird that fell out of the nest, you saved me. And you're more cozy like a nest. Just a bit more naughty than I thought a nest could be. How does it feel? Having the undisputed attention and focus. Look at me, baby. That's it. That's what I fucking like to see. That honesty in your eyes. That slight fluster that you can't get by because feelings are just that. You can't choose to feel them. They catch you when you least expect it, don't they? Fuck, you look so cute. Pardon me, but I need to give you more kisses for that. Sometimes it pisses me off how he steals the moment so easy. Fuck you, Kago. But also, damn, you're good at that. I'd never admit defeat to him, though. And you, my, my true little mouth. <laughs> dream of me. I want all those little thoughts to be focused on me. 
Why become greedy? In this poly relationship, we might all get along. I'll kiss and make out. I'll be focused on each other, but there's just some times where I get selfish. I want more of you for myself. When my hands wrap around you and my heart reaches out. See, even I have times when I'm hopeless romantic. You bring out those times in me, baby. I feel you. Your warmth keeps me going. And I hope mine helps you relax. I know how much you've been through and how little. Sometimes it feels like you have time to relax. But right now is one of those times. Well, at least a little bit. <laughs> Relax at your own peril, I'd say. If you relax too much, well, all I can say is you're dealing with two bastards, so... If you don't fancy that self-preservation, then fall asleep at your own discretion, I guess. <laughs> You might find that you wake up in a very interesting position, smushed between us and the... Well, I won't spoil too much, but right now, you're like the stars in the sky to me. You glisten brighter than anything. And you're so damn sexy, you don't even know it. That notion by itself kind of pisses me off. That underestimating how cute you are and always bothered me, but right now especially because you, you're worth all this or we wouldn't be here right now. You're worth every second. And I, I can't get enough of you. You're my addiction as much as you are my pride. And I hope it sets in the mind of yours how much you truly mean to me. And I said, that's the look I want. Those hands rubbing up and down gently like that. It feels nice, doesn't it? Just to have a nice tummy rub or a back rub or sometimes a head pat. Those little things mean so much to me. I know, maybe it's a bit on the simple side, but I wouldn't trade those simple moments for the world. Just like I wouldn't trade you two. You should know, baby. <laughs> You help keep us together, like... And even then... <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had you all to myself. <laughs> You're talking like I'm not even here. Fuck. I mean... Go off, I guess. Cause I feel those same fucking feelings a lot of the time. And... Baby bird. And I can't even blame anyone for it. You, you're just that special. Not that don't be slacking or anything. At least not too fucking much, right? I think he does a pretty bang up job, and you, you make my heart ring out. You make all this feel like it's a sweet dream. Take all the bitter right out of it. <laughs> and I'm that cough syrup kind of sweet. More like something. It's actually fucking tasty. Like those lips of yours. <sighs> this ear right here is pretty fucking tasty too. Guess I can't underestimate you, can I? Whether it be out in the field, 
doing some hair work or making me feel like I'm actually alive, like I'm a person, like all this fucking shit was worth it after all, trauma can't hold me back I guess, not when I've got all the distractions, all that healing I need, so come on, why don't you show me? Show me all those little details. Show me all those things that you can't with anyone else. I wanna open you up and see how you tick. In the non psychopathic mad scientist way. More like the unravel that shirt or nah. <laughs> I don't wanna overstep things. And I think maybe there's been too much of that. At least not quite yet. Come here. That's my song, but that's the cutest voice that escapes. Whenever you get kissed so fucking much, you know that? I can never, ever get tired of this. Because you and I. We've got a connection. One I never want to get further, but only closer. I'm just gonna conveniently leave me out of that, huh? Nobody ever fucking said that. But what a kill he had to write the moment. Hmm. Even then, I can't just let it stay this way. Then do something about it, Grumpy. What's gonna happen, huh? We're just gonna lay here like this forever? I don't think so. What do you think, little mouse? What is my cute baby on? What do you dream of right now? If you could do anything. <laughs> Good luck getting a thought out of that one. This baby bird. Too far gone. Afraid that love sickness kicked in real big. You can say that, but if we don't get a clear answer, then. Then we just go about it, you know? No hesitation, do what comes to mind, right? That's how we've always fucking worked. Never stopped us before, has it? I guess you've got a point there. Well, you sure you can handle that, baby? You sure you can handle two crazy men at once all over you? <laughs> Let's just say if this baby bird couldn't. Why would they have stayed with us for this long, huh? We've been through so much. And fuck it. If we haven't been through the most in this goddamn world, I'd be fucking surprised. And I suppose you could view it that way, too. There isn't really anything I can say or do other than what feels right. Not at this point. Because I feel like I'm running out of fumes right now. Guess you're as fucking done bad as me. Using that as an excuse. Is that why your hands are wandering? <laughs> Touching my wings. Didn't even ask first, you naughty. <laughs> you're one to talk. Where's that hand of yours? <laughs> you shouldn't worry about that, and especially not you. Hey, baby bird. You should focus more about yourself. Those wandering hands, they might get you in fucking trouble if it was anyone else. Hmm. So you're making your intentions clear, too. I like that. You really know what you want. And I can't hold back when it's you. <laughs> if that ain't all that's about, there just isn't any time for.
way, you know? Hesitation is for people who got too much time on their hands. I, for fucking one, am not gonna be that kind of stuck-up bastard. No, I'd rather be the bastard that gets to do everything he wants. That makes two of us, doesn't it? What about you? Baby, what kind of bastard, bitch, or otherwise do you want to be? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of interested in your answer just the same. You're always so reserved about the things, always holding back because you think you have to, aren't you? So let it go and just do what you want. <laughs> He said it. And I'll say it too. Fuck it. I'd like to see you. When there's nothing left but the deepest fucking part of you. Once you don't do those layers. Maybe literally. Maybe not. And then I want to see how long it takes before you really lose your mind. Before all those inhibitions melts away like they were never there in the first place. That's not the kind of fiery relationship we're in. Mm, it's always been my way. But I think you, baby, you have to take time to make sure you don't get burned unless you're just a glutton for punishment. Cause those flames, they get pretty hot. And the flames of passion and love, they never stop growing, especially with crazy bastards like us. What do you think, baby? Is it worth it? Do you want to go deeper into this hellfire together with me and that bird brain over there? No, I resent that. Come on now. You should fucking know. That answer's always been written on your lips. So say it. Tell me every little detail of what you want. Tell me your fucking dreams. Tell me how handsome I am. Tell me how much you need these guesses. Tell me and share everything because there's never going to be a side or detail of you that I don't want to hear from. Only more I want to learn. More and more and more. I know. It might sound a bit unbelievable, but fuck. You got that authenticity. You got that passion that inflicted me, infected me, and made me lose my goddamn mind. Don't be proud of yourself. You should be. You've done nothing but make things interesting, fun, and overall just that much more sexy. I can't get enough of this passion. This touch, in truth, I wouldn't even be able to smile if it wasn't for you. You saved every little detail and spared nothing to express that love to me. Even if most people just saw me as secondhand trash. <laughs> Someone who's defective and otherwise. I fell in love with you over and over again. And I know the future is no secure thing, but I know I'll fall in love with you a million times more. Because it's you. Because you're just crazy enough to make this thing work. Couldn't have fucking said it better myself. Actually, I probably fucking could, but I'll give it to that burnt chicken nugget. Everything right now 
it's different, yeah. You showed me. Not only that you can be pretty fucking cool, but that you got a side to you, kid. A side to you that needs to be protected, cherished, loved. I don't care what anyone else in this fucking world said. Let them come and judge us. Let them come and tell us we're wrong for being this way. And I'll fight them on every little corner. And show them. You know the best way to win an argument, right? It's so fucking easy. You just never, ever stop doing what you're doing. Until they have to acknowledge you. Until all those shadows of doubt get swung out of the way. And you're only left with that passion of looking into someone's eyes. And knowing that fucking love is true. Simple, ain't it? I fucking think so. And if we're going that far, then. What about the rest of it, huh? You can't go giving him all your attention, and Well, pardon me for being this bold, but I want more. I want to feel what you wish for. I don't just want to hear it from your lips. I want to feel it in your arms. I want to know those little details of things you have never been able to say to anyone else. I want to be the one you can fight in. The one who makes you feel when no one else could when nothing else would be enough. I want you to feel safe, happy for want. I want you to be mine forever. Never look back to the person you hated on, to the person you gave up on, because you're not there anymore, baby. You never have to go back, you hear me? And if you let the stress get to you too much, I might just have to take things into my own hands. And distract you so much that you can never think about that again. And make you so drunk on love that nothing else matters. That you escape in that moment for as long as you need, as long as you want. Because I want more of you. And I'll use anything as an excuse. If I can make you feel better. If I can make you feel whole. So that's where I got you things, huh? Seems fucking amazing to me. How you make me feel, but also that soft spot. That one where every fucking time I think I know everything about you, there's something new and exciting there. That every single day I spend excited for when I get to see that smiling face. You can consider me a lot of things, baby, but the one thing I'll never be, bored. Not with you around. And not with the burnt chicken nugget, either. I heard that. <laughs> Even fucking then, I'll get you. You're just amazing through and through. What am I gonna do? It's hard not to tease you on a regular day, but right fucking now, it's getting even more exciting. You know exactly what I mean, don't you? Of course you do. <laughs> That's a 
fuck I've been fucking waiting for. Finally able to get past that and we'll move on to something more important. That's my baby butt. My baby, my everything. Well, I guess you'll have to share with the bird boy over there, but other than that, you got me for life. As long as you're cool with that, then fuck the rest of it. I don't give a damn about anything else. So why should you? Fuck the world. Doesn't fucking understand the first thing about us. And besides, if the world's out there and we're fucking in here, then it's sort of like an exclusive club. Nobody else can get in our way. Nobody could even try, you know? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Every single time, you know? You make me feel so alive. I'll never get tired of it. Hey, come on now. That's not fucking fair. And if you were looking for some fun like that, why don't we all indulge a little? I'm sure we could think of some fucking way to pass the time, right? Get that mind on things a little bit. And what do you say? I'd say it sounds like a fine plan indeed. As for anything else, you best be bracing yourself, baby. Unless it does that out too. Be on the lookout. Those eyes tell a story. And it's one I want to know.